Electric current travels through the computer circuits at very close to the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, which is about one billion kilometers per hour. If an astronaut were able to travel as fast as that, he would be able to go to the moon and back in just under four seconds. One, two, on the moon, three, four, back on Earth. So, since just one chip inside the computer can contain many thousands of electric circuits, and since chips are so small that you could fit 25 of them onto a postage stamp, you can see that it's quite easy for an electric current to make the rounds of all the computer circuits in a few billionths of a second, and thus enable the computer to perceive many millions of different on, off switching patterns in one second. But it's very difficult for us to grasp what all this means, since our perception of time is so completely different. Here's a familiar example. This appears to be a moving picture of a horse and rider, but it isn't. It's a series of still pictures, which are being projected at the rate of 24 frames per second to give us the illusion of continuous flowing movement. The illusion works because the human eye cannot perceive anything that lasts for much less than one twenty-fourth of a second. If we painted every twenty-fourth frame of this film black, we'd only just be able to glimpse it at normal film speed because it would only be on the screen for one twenty-fourth of a second. This is just about the limit of our perception of time. If it comes in chunks much smaller than one twenty-fourth of a second, it scarcely exists at all as far as we're concerned. For example, if we could speed the film up to, say, 48 frames per second, the black frame would disappear altogether. In fact, for most purposes, our everyday life is divided into hours and minutes and seconds, whereas the computer lives in a world of thousands of a second milliseconds, millionths of a second, microseconds, and billionths of a second, nanoseconds. If the computer could see us, to its eyes, we would appear to be moving about as fast as a lump of rock, and the second or so that it takes us to decide which key to press next would seem like a delay of seven or eight years.